Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is June, it is almost summer, if not already summer by the time I upload this, but I figured I would just continue watching teen movies onward and I thought the perfect movie to start off summer would be The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Ooh, 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 let me tell ya. I feel like I always say this about a lot of movies, but I was obsessed with this movie. And not only just the movie, I was obsessed with the books too. I feel like I probably shouldn't have been reading those books when I was younger, but you know, oh well. I really enjoyed the books. I read all four books. I never read the fifth one where they're like adults. I didn't even know that book existed until like last year. But I digress. I really loved the books and I really loved this movie. The sequel? <clears throat> not as much. I feel like this movie was really popular when it came out because of the cast but I don't really see people talking about it as much anymore. Blake Lively, Alexa, Alexis, Alexis Bledel, America Ferreira, um, it's been a couple years since I watched this, so, you know, let's just go right into it. Without further ado, let's get started on The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Wow, this movie is two hours long. I don't remember it being that long, what the hell? I thought it was just an hour and a half kind of movie. I haven't read the books in, like, a really long time. I really wanted to reread them before watching this, but they're in my garage and my garage is just, it's just the black hole. Once it's in there, I can never find anything ever again. Our mothers made out of prenatal aerobics class. They really didn't have anything in common, except their due dates. First one out of the gate oh. was Bridget. Oh. Yes, Blake Lively. <laughs> <laughs> I'll handle this. Yes, girl boss. Why is like no adult stepping in? They're just watching her beat th these kids up. Lena, I don't think he's gonna be back this time. I'll come up first thing tomorrow. And Tammy and Richard too. Just stay on the phone with me until you fall asleep. Oh, that's so sweet. One of the things I love most about these movies and the books is their friendship. Like they're so close and no matter like time and distance, they still stay close together. And I love that. I love movies about Friendship! There were some things we would never make sense of. Beloved wife, mother, and friend. It only makes her choice that much more unfathomable. <laughs> that was so awkward. You okay? Yeah, I will be soon. I got these stupid heels. Here, hold them for me, will ya? I think I'll run home. She has an avoidant personality. She needs to go to therapy. She needs to process the grief of losing her mother. Hi everyone. I just wanted to cut in real quick to introduce the sponsor of this video, which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you in a private online environment that is convenient to you. I've mentioned this a few times before, but I have recently been struggling a lot mentally and emotionally. And even though I am better now than how I was in March when I took my mental health break from YouTube, I still experience these roller coaster of emotions. Some days I feel upbeat, motivated, confident, while other days I feel really down. If you're experiencing something similar like me, BetterHelp is here to help you. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire about your specific needs and then you'll get matched with a therapist in less than 48 hours. From there, you schedule secure video and phone sessions, you can exchange unlimited messages, and everything that you share is completely confidential. BetterHelp has over 20,000 therapists in its network who all have a broad range of expertise and it can give you access to help that might not be available in your area. And if you want to change therapist, you can request a new one with no additional cost at any time. Join 2 million other people who are trying to improve their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash sophiafan or click on my link in the description box below. Growing up, I thought Blake Lively was so pretty. I thought she was the prettiest one out of all the girls, even though it's canon in the books that like lena was the prettiest one out of the group like no offense to alexis bladell like she's very pretty she's a beautiful girl i always felt like she was a little i don't know miscast because in the books they describe lena to be like like such a gorgeous girl like everyone wanted to be with her and then i saw the movie and i was like huh that's not the Lena I imagine in my brain. I you were looking Ew, to, um, Tibby, why are you just try on jewelry like in the middle of the store? That's disgusting. Tibby, take 
I love their chemistry together. Okay, Karma, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Okay, girl. Just take off your pants in the middle of the store. I mean, like, uh, fuck the dressing room, I guess. You know, when I was reading the books, I always thought, like, are these jeans, like, supernatural? That they can fit, like, everyone? Maybe they're just jeggings, you know? <laughs> Maybe they're just really stretchy jeans. Call me crazy, but it's scientifically impossible that a pair of Yeah, see? See? Me and Lena. Me and Lena. How old are they supposed to be in this movie? 14, 15, right? Some old ass looking 15 year olds, I gotta say. We're gathered here today to honor a gift that has been sent to us. So why do we have to pay for them? <laughs> That's so true. They should have done the five finger discount. But then again, it looked like it was a thrift store slash mom and pop shop. But so maybe, maybe they shouldn't have. We need rules. Every sister has rules. Thank you. A manifesto. Sounds like a cult. I think that Lena should be first because Chris is the furthest away. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. The shipping costs. Any removal of the pants must be done by the wearer herself. Okay, oh, Lena. Yes, you. They did us just called Bridget a whore. We will never ever wash these pants. What are you gonna wash the magic out of the video? Magic's not That's disgusting, no, to be way, honest. Better. Because Bridget's going to a fucking soccer camp and she's gonna be sweaty. You're gonna be wearing each other's sweat. And with the insinuation that Bridget sleeps around, who knows what other substances get on those pants? Honestly, if those jeans look good on every one of those girls, I need me some jeans like that. I love wearing jeans. People think I'm insane. They're like, jeans are so uncomfortable. Why do you like wearing jeans? Um, because they look good on me? I, I don't know what to tell you. I like jeans. Maybe that's why I like this fucking movie so much. <laughs> Literally, this movie, because I watched it so much as a child, Greece has always been the country that I've wanted to visit my entire life it is my number one destination they just make greece look so beautiful i want to visit one day i want to live my sisterhood of the traveling pants dreams literally this entire thing is just to show off the town and like the scenery okay you know what? You know what? i know i just talked shit about alexis bladell being miscast as lena but i think they did a really good job of making her look effortlessly beautiful with like the bun, the money piece is falling out. She looks pretty gorgeous. Hmm. Am I changing my mind a little bit? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that looks so beautiful. Oh, I want to go to Greece so bad. Out of all the all four of the characters, I think I related to Lena the most. And that's why I want to go to Greece so bad. And maybe that's why I'm so hard on the casting. I don't know. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's fucking insane that these girls, they're like 15, 14. Bridget being able to go to a soccer camp in a totally different country by herself. I mean, I know there's like adult supervision, but like I can't even like fathom that. My parents would never. Hello? Hey, don't even think about it. It's against the rules that links with coaches. <laughs> Okay, he should not have been looking anyways. Avert your gaze. Dad, I brought my tennis gear and I've been practicing like crazy, so I want you to start to your absolute hardest, okay? I haven't spent more than four straight days with you since I was 10. I mean, that that's so sad. A whole summer, it's just the two of us. Oh, she's so excited. I feel like the dad definitely should have warned her. What surprise? You know, like Carmen's storyline and Bridget's storyline, I think were like the saddest for me. I mean, you know, like, I know Tippy like, literally hangs out with a girl with a terminal illness, and that's sad. That's, like, a different kind of sad. I feel like with Carmen, like, this storyline made me so sad for her. Just thinking about the, the scene where she's on the phone with her dad later on, oh my god, it makes me cry. Oh no, I'm gonna cry during this movie. We're gonna be bridesmaids together. Excuse me? I hadn't quite gotten to that Yo, this dad <laughs> fucked up. Why wouldn't you have told her beforehand? Why would you just bring that on your 15 year old daughter? Say, you're a real natural with that thing. Took me weeks before I got the hang of it. <laughs> yeah, well, we all have our special talents. Walmans. Oh my god. Five finger discount, guys. Oh, god. Somebody help! Girl, girl down! Uh Somebody call an ambulance! Why did those cuts make it look comical? That scene wasn't supposed to be comical. And then she's gonna have her own sexual awakening. 
Oh my god, that'd be so scary. See? And they can't even wash the pants. Now those jeans are gonna smell like seawater. Looks good on you. <laughs> <laughs> so I go to the university in Athens. University? Why is it always an older man? They're like so much older and they're 15. Ugh. When I was younger, I ate up this these romances. Like Bridget and her soccer coach. Um, Costas and Lena. Oh my god. But now I'm older. I'm looking at this. I'm like, hmm. He That's even funny. looks so much older than her. That is a grown man. You need to back off. Do dance better than you swim. Uh, back the fuck off, man. I am unwritten. Can't read my mind. I'm undefined. I'm just beginning. Girl, get away. So, um, I hear you go to Columbia. Oh, he also goes to university. Yep. University boys have no have no reason to be fucking around with high school girls. I'm 17. You're a fucking liar, bitch. You're a fucking liar. Oh, 17 my ass. Actually, hold the fuck up. Maybe they upped the age in the movie. <clears throat> The girls are all 15 at the beginning and turn 16 at the end of summer. In the movie, the girls begin the summer at 16. See? I'm fucking right. Oh my god, Bridget, you are a dumb bitch. Okay, uh, a year off. 15, 16. That's like the same thing. Oh god, don't you love to run? That's disgusting. I hate running. You're just in this place where, where nothing bad could ever happen, you know? Like if you just push a bit further, if you just keep moving. Nothing can touch you. That sounds like you're physically running away from your problems. This looks great. Oh, it's okay. We don't answer the phone during dinner. Except that one time. Tell us again how you guys met. I dialed the wrong number. And I answered. Lydia agreed to go out with a perfect stranger. Is that not oh, right? That's no. fucking weird. Why would you go on a date with someone who, like, accidentally called? I'm gonna get on a plane and I'm just gonna no. come down there. Mom, look, okay, you'd never want him to be happy and that's why you blame him. And oh, yikes. No well, he did leave. The common factor here is the dad. The dad... Needs to step it up a little bit. Needs to be a better father, you know. I love everything about this island. Oh, except for oh, that looks so beautiful. I wonder if they shot in location. It'd be such a shame if it was all green screen. Someone just lent it to me. Oh, someone. Someone who? I know everyone. His name is Costas Dunas. You must never speak of them. They're liars, they're, they're thieves, they're barbarians. From what I remember, this plot wasn't in the books, right? The whole, like... Romeo Juliet kind of plot was only in the movie. You must never see this boy again. You understand? Yeah, you need to you need to stay away. You know, I'm gonna look it up. I'm so sorry. I am I'm like not paying attention to the movie in, in its entirety, but it's gonna bug me if I don't you know yeah the whole that whole like Romeo and Juliet like families hate each other plot. I mean it's kinda in the book, but like it's it started from a whole different reason. Not from like a age old family feud kind of shit. God. How much did you have to pay for shipping? Yeah, you're the one that owned the thing the other day, right? Are you making a movie or something? More like an ode. To what? Lives of quiet desperation. Human existence at its lamest. She's so angsty. Maybe you need an assistant. You wouldn't have to pay me or anything. An unpaid PA job? She needs to take advantage of that. We should play tennis tomorrow. Am I something about Paul's game? Sure. We'll just stop for one second, okay? It's right on the way. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just came out early to check out the competition. Oh, you're looking at her. You're awfully sure of yourself, huh? I know what I want. Girl. Also, you should not be entertaining this idea. You should have shut her down from the get-go, bro. <laughs> nice. That was a good transition. Oh my god. Uh, like Lively is doing a banger of a job. I loved her so much in this movie. And then she had to go and play the most fucking and most annoying character in Gossip Girl. <sighs> the hotel is doing our wedding had a water main break. The whole place is flooded. And the repairs won't be done for months. Hey, uh, Paul? You want to play tennis with Connie? Good shot, Paul. What? Lydia needs me, sweetie. This dad is fucking stupid. You can't just drop her into a new family and expect her to get along with everyone. <sighs> Why does she suddenly have the urge to do that? Like, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drop off his shirt and leave. No, wait. 
I want to pull his boat in real fast. Like, what? What compelled her? You knew my name. Why didn't you just say something the other day? Well, because the arguments of old men have nothing to do with us. Why should the rest of it matter? Because it does. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. His name is Brian McBrian. Can't Brian McBrian. But I figured he'd be a good contrast to all the losers. Why is he grinding up against the machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it, I got it. And... And somehow, and somehow, to be and him start dating. Buenos dias. ¿Cómo están? ¿Qué día tan bueno, no? Claro que sí, ¿por qué no? Is she speaking Spanish? Oh, is she speaking Spanish? Spanish? Oh my God. Where exactly is Paul? He's in Atlanta, visiting his father. His dad's in a facility. Every month, Paul takes a bus to visit him. Uh -huh. <laughs> what the fuck? He didn't even handwrite a letter. He just typed it. What the fuck was that? I just realized Bridget's dad sucks. Carmen's dad sucks. We don't really see Tibby or Lena's dads. Maybe that's why their moms bonded with each other. But you guys hear actually they're uh, finally giving a Saturday off? Oh, hallelujah. You say can. Tina! You want me to go? Come on. Why else would you have said that right in front of me? Girl. These girls are what I'm thinking in my mind. They're like, uh... Okay. What was in the package? Just this pair of pants over there. I'm sharing with my friends this summer. They just happened to mysteriously fit us all perfectly. Really? This scene didn't really hit me back in the day. I'm just like, yeah, of course it's not gonna fit her because she's not in like the sisterhood. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's actually kind of sad. The way that Tibby described it, like, oh, it all mysteriously fits us, um, all four of us. It makes it seem like really magical to her. And like her having leukemia, she probably wanted to believe in some kind of magic. Like, oh, maybe if these genes can really like fit me too, then maybe, you know, things will be okay. I think holding on to some sort of like hope, some sort of supernatural thing out there is something tangible that she can hold on to. My karma Puchie. I'm writing from the post office, and this express mail costs more than I make in two hours at Walmart. See, that's what I'm saying. Also, why did she wrap it? Why didn't she just like put the jeans in the bag? Too bad you can't express mail 12 year olds. And I wish you the very best of luck on this endeavor. Even though I'm like less interested in Tibby's storyline, I still like it. I mean, she's like an angsty teenager and all that. And this kid really like challenges her. I was just wondering if Maria could grab your sheets. I told her you usually slept late, but uh, I don't think wow. she understood. Wow, the the shot. I don't think she understood me. Her her English isn't real good. Mmm, the microaggression. They had a moment just now. Oh my God! No, she's pulling a Bridget where she wants to be noticed. Been here long. What are you doing here? It's a fish market. You didn't tell me you were an artist. I'm not really. Also, she totally revealed that she moved. She moved her seat closer to him. What made you choose to paint this? I liked it because when you first look at it, it looks kind of forgotten. and then But then you realize that that's why it's beautiful. It's perfect in all its loneliness. Okay, Tumblr. <laughs> okay. My parents were married to that church before they left for the United States. Why did they come back to Greece? They were killed in a car accident when I was 12. I really should go off. My grandparents saw me here. They, they what? Is it really them you're afraid of? Or is it something else? Yeah, it's the age gap, bro. You don't even know me. I'm trying to. But can't you see that? Don't let him make you feel guilty, girl. Don't let a man get under your skin. There's a part of me that wants to let him in, but then I feel myself put this wall up. <laughs> and I don't- Jeez, oh my gosh. No wonder I <laughs> relate to Lena. That's literally me. It makes me so sad that people like Gustus and Bridget, who have lost everything, can still be open to love. Okay, but also- Bridget has a lot of unresolved issues that, need sh that, that she needs to work through. Like, I know you're 16. You tend to, like, glorify a lot of things, but, you know, Bridget is going through something in a very not healthy way. And where the fuck did he come from? Did he know that she'd be there? Is he stalking her? She's at the doctor's. She has leukemia. Found it a couple of years ago, poor thing. Wow. Those neighbors were only there to deliver that message. <laughs> That's such a... Fucked up way of finding out that someone has leukemia. <laughs> that coach was useless. What? You shouldn't be here. I'm not drinking. But if you don't dance with me, I might have to start. You raggedy bitch. 
So do not encourage this behavior. What the fuck? See, I'm her friends right now. See? Oh my god. No, I hate it. I hate it. She is trying so hard. That's why you should have shut it down way earlier, bro. Okay, I know. I know I was shitting on this romance, but the child in me is loving this summer romance trope, you know? It's just like, you go off, you're in a foreign country, you don't know anyone, and then you meet someone and you're young and it's fleeting and it's new and it's passionate you know it's just like ugh, man i like i get it i get it girl i understand and being 16 i know i know it's exciting <laughs> but he's he's too old for you he is too old for you whenever i get bored i i do experiments experiments Cool. Is that the actress for Professor Umbridge? Sorry, I know you hate it when I butt in like that. I just... It's okay. Oh, to be trying to soften the blow. You found out, didn't you? Or are you just asking because you feel sorry for me? Maybe. At least she was truthful. I look like a tramp. So sorry, I had no idea her father would be so all for me. Guess her size. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why he should have asked her. He should have told her that he was getting married again. Stupid. Oh my god. Her dad just pisses me off. We will fix the hem on Krista's and we'll just uh, start over on the other one. Carmen. The other one. Cheese. We can just tell everybody that Carmen's Puerto Rican. And it never occurred to you that she might be built differently. Just tell everyone there is no Carmen. Carmen doesn't exist. Honestly, good for her. I feel like she should have blown up a long time ago to be honest with everything that's been happening with her dad kind of like forgetting that she's there it's just, you know what dear lena his name is eric i've never wanted anything this much in my entire life <laughs> girl i'm obsessed and as we all know obsessed girls cannot be responsible for our actions <laughs> <Can't we>? what <laughs> you need therapy girl I can't stop this feeling damn movies in the 2000s really be reusing the same songs so you watch me play today what do you think I don't know if I've ever seen anyone with that much intensity. Ever. Are you talking about well, soccer or just in general? Because she is pretty intense. Single-minded to the point of recklessness. It's what the school shrink called me. After my mom died, a few of the teachers stopped it. I don't know, I needed to be evaluated or something. Yeah, yeah, I think your teachers are right. I've never told anyone that before. Sir. It doesn't look like anybody's home. They're probably out looking for me. Oh my god, this scene pisses me the fuck off. Yeah, isn't that fucked up? He wasn't even looking for her. Like, she literally ran off. And he's not even worried? Fuck this dad. Actually. No. <laughs> Good for you, Carmen. You know what I like most about the stars? I just know there's gotta be something more than life. This is a really fucking depressing talk that they're having, knowing that she has leukemia. Are you scared? It's more that I'm afraid of time, not having enough of it. I'm afraid of what I'll miss. <laughs> well, Tibby kind of marches to her own drum, kind of jealous of her. Well, because she knows who she is. Don't you? I think I know who I want to be. I think that's a good mindset. No one knows who they are, truly. Especially at 16. I thought I knew- No, no, just kidding. I did not know who I was at 16. I still don't really know who I am right now, but that's okay. We are constantly moving, constantly changing. I'm so sorry, baby. I knew this would happen. I don't want to say I told you so. Then but... don't. Oh my god. Why would your mom- Why would- Why would you say that to her? That does not make her feel better. Damn, I know, like, you hate your ex-husband. Try to, like, reel in a little bit for the sake of your child. God, and now Bridget is gonna have the pants and she's gonna have the confidence to go fuck Eric. These aren't just jeans. They make things happen. <laughs> Car, there are worse things than your dad getting married. Sure, he probably could have handled it better. Tibby, he didn't handle it at all. Tell yeah, exactly. That. Why are you giving me this hypocritical lecture about treating people decently when you walk around screaming, screw the world, because that's easier than feeling something. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Like, I know Tibby is like, yeah, there are worse things in the world, like having leukemia. Carmen's problems are problems too. And I feel like Carmen was definitely like in the right. Her dad handled things horribly. I mean, I understand Carmen's frustration and Tibby should have... She at least 
understand that, you know? Even though from a perspective, yeah, leukemia is worse than like your dad getting remarried. But one problem doesn't minimize the other, you know? They're not comparable. You can't compare the two. And one doesn't make the other less. It doesn't mean that your problems don't matter too. I see where Tibby is coming from. She definitely did not go about it the right way. Definitely on Carmen's side, yeah, maybe The Rock was a bit much. But with all the pent-up frustration that she felt over the summer, I just don't blame her. I fucking love Carmen's storyline. And now we're gonna have to continue watching Bridget's mess of a life. <sighs> I'm tired of it. Maybe I'll go for a walk, get some fresh air. They all know. And honestly, if her grandma like knows everyone in town, the gossip probably had spread back to them by now, at least. Especially when they're like conversing in the middle of the fish market, they're doing this shit in front of people. Can't you stay another week? My classes start on Monday, I have to go. It has to end, girl. It has to end. I love you, man. Uh... <laughs> and the whole family came. He spit the disrespect. It does not mean nothing to break the hearts of those who love you. And he's shirtless. Oh no. Damn, why are his nipples so big in that drawing? <laughs> oh my god, he got some pepperoni nipples in that. You know, when I was younger, it didn't really like click in my mind what had happened between her and Eric. And then I got older and I was like, oh my god, they had sex. On the beach? Oh my god, the sand everywhere? Uh-uh. How can something that's supposed to make you feel so complete end up leaving you so empty? I just, there's so much I could talk to my mom. <sighs> I feel so sad for Bridget. She is clearly going through it and she needs help. She needs help. And people are enabling her. Her friends aren't stopping her. Eric should have had better sense to not go through with it. Dumbass. Ayla's in the hospital, sweetheart. Her mom called. She's not doing well. What I said, it was not... Nice, it was, it was awful, and I'm sorry. Your mom told me about your friend Bailey. She drives you crazy. I mean, we'll be doing interviews, right? Talking to people, and she'll just jump in out of nowhere and start asking these questions. She'll just ask them anything she wants about their lives, like she's trying to get to know them or something. Well, isn't that the point of a documentary? What is your documentary supposed to be about if you're not getting to know your subjects? Sounds like you're not really a good filmmaker to be. Wow, that's a nice color on her. That green? It looks striking. She looks really good. Damn, maybe I am warming up to the fact that she is Lena. I need to say something to you. I met someone who changed everything and he showed me that I can take a chance, even if it's only for a moment. Lena, shh. You had that same moment once when you met Yaya and you risked everything for it. That was your chance, Babu, and I'm asking now to have mine. Girl, but you're just 16. You're just 16. He's not forever. He's not the forever boy for you. What does she expect to come out of this? Like, he's gonna go off to school, and then she's gonna go back to the US. Does she think that it's gonna keep being a long distance thing? That's hard, especially when he's a college student around other college girls. Don't know. Sounds like a recipe for disaster. Okay, but what about the people who are trying to board the boat? You're just like blocking the walkway right now. I hate being an adult and looking at these movies so logically. Why can't I just be a teenager and just look at this and be like, they're so in love, they're so in love, I wish that was me. But then me as an adult is just like, it's just not gonna work out. Oh my god, this scene. This scene always makes me cry. America Ferreira, she just, mm, her acting is just so good in this scene. I have the tissues next to me. I got, I got, I, okay. Whew. It's my fault. I, I, I should have told you about them. Should have. It's the fact that you found yourself this new family. It's like you traded me and mom in for something that you thought was better. Why does Paul visit his alcoholic dad every month? Did you only visit me twice a year? I'm, I'm so sorry. I wish that were enough, dad. Yeah, fuck her dad, for real. Oh my god. That scene fucks me up every time. 
every time! You won't believe I'm saying this, but I really think the pants did bring this to me. <laughs> wow, Lena is so nice to be mailing the pants in a box. Wow, she just like taped it up with a woman's bag. What's that? It's Dragon Slayer. Brian came by yesterday and dropped it off. He's a pretty decent guy, Brian is. Oh my gosh, did they start dating after this? Like, the trauma bond? You were right and I was wrong. The important thing is you always change your mind about him. This kid is too smart <laughs> to be a real 12 year old. But then again, some kids are like very intuitive about these things. More than like adults give them credit. She said that we were right all along, that they really are magic. And so I, I was thinking, you know, maybe you could um, have them for a while. See, oh my God. So I was, oh my God. So what I was saying before was true. The magic of the pants is something for them to grasp on in this situation. Makes them have hope that she could get better. <laughs> Pants have already worked their magic on me, brought me to you. <laughs> Fuck you! Whoever wrote that line! <laughs> Finish your movie because you can. That being the last thing that she says to her before she dies. And she fucking knows. She knows. And now it's Bridget being depressed. Girl. Yeah, you have to finish the movie. You have to for her. Hey, it's me, Bailey. Being happy isn't having everything in your life be perfect. Maybe it's about stringing together all the little things. Maybe we just get through it and that's all we can ask for. This movie just said, let's fuck up the audience, you know? <laughs> uh -huh. I feel so tired. You should talk to us. So that we... <sighs> fix this i love their friendship their friendship is so good they're all so different from each other but it just works these actresses with their chemistry it just i don't know it's just so good it's okay to miss her b i mean as hard as it is to be sad about it don't you think maybe it's harder not to be oh, that's good that's a good line it's okay to be sad it's okay to feel things you just want to feel good and happy and alive if i'm not sad then it proves that i'm not like her you didn't have to prove that to anybody. I mean, exactly. They're really glossing over the fact that her mom, you know, killed herself. I, yeah, I think that's something the movie should have done. They should have made that more apparent so it makes sense what Bridget is going through. Wow, her room is huge. She even has a space aside from her bed to sleep on. Maggie! Why the fuck is he there? You should have just left her the fuck alone. I just want to say that what happened between us was my fault. Exactly. Exactly. I should have known better. Oh, it's just... I didn't exactly tell you to slow down. Girl. Girl. No. Shut the fuck up. I wanted it for all the wrong reasons. And all the things that I was trying to run away from just ended up catching up with me that much sooner. Okay, it's good that you realize that, but it is also his fault because he is the adult here. Should have known better. When you're 20, probably a soccer star, some huge college. <laughs> And there's a million guys after you. Promise me you'll give me a shot. Uh, no, not the when you're old enough. You should have just left it at that. Oh my god. Why do all the men in this movie frustrate me? Oh my, oh my god, Lena, look at you here. <laughs> Where are Lena's parents? Shouldn't they be the ones picking her up? Oh my god, Lena! I know, isn't he gorgeous? I was referring to holding a fish. Oh, oh you know, like. Mm -hmm. I you know, I feel like if it was any other movie with any other actress, having the actresses have their own separate storyline and them not really being together as a friend group for a majority of the movie, I don't think it would have worked. But they somehow make it work so well. They have such great chemistry with each other and it genuinely feels like they're friends with one another. So good. This movie is so good. Rhythm. I'll make you brave. There's an important member of our family who should be up here with us. Carmen. Dad, I'm not, I'm not dressed. I'm... I need you. This doesn't make up what he did for the entire movie and for her entire life, but it's sweet or whatever. It would be easy to say that the pants changed everything that summer. But looking back now, I feel like our lives changed because they had to. And that the real magic of the pants was in bearing witness to all of this. Yeah, they all had a very eventful summer. <laughs> The Bailey was here. Oh. I have like these huge tear marks. 
<laughs> on my glasses. Okay, not gonna lie, I totally forgot how emotional this movie is. You know how like when you watch something, you read something, you watch something so many times, you're kind of like desensitized to the source material. It's like that, like I watched this movie so many times, I forgot how sad and real it is. They all like went through their struggles. I mean, Lena, her storyline was the least sad. <laughs> Carmen's storyline is my favorite. I think America Ferrera did a fantastic job playing Carmen. Not to say like everyone else didn't do an amazing job. They all did an amazing job with their characters and their roles, but just ugh, Carmen's storyline just hits me every single time. They're all just different, but that's what I like about it. It's funny how every one of them had a summer that was so eventful. If I were Tibby being stuck at home, just like working over the summer, her summer would realistically be so boring, you know, if it weren't for Bailey. If I was in their sisterhood, literally my summer would be like me staying at home every day, not going out at all, probably watching anime like every single day. <laughs> Even though they deviated a bit from the source material, I thought it was still a pretty good adaptation of the book. But yeah, you know, everyone killed it. I fucking love this movie, it makes me sad as fuck. But it gives me a little, it gives me sort of like warm comfort. I don't know if that's the nostalgia talking, but a movie of like pure friendship like this, I don't know, I just love it. I love movies about friendship. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you for the next video.